Do you know that Microsoft has released the latest Excel to call function with the help of which you can convert a range of data into a single column? In this video, we will be looking at how we can convert a range of data into a single column using the Excel is to call function. For example, here we have an array of data. Now we want to convert this array into a single column. So let's use a to call function equal to call use a function. Observe here that the Excel to call function has three arguments. The first argument is the array. It is the range of data which you want to convert into a column. Then the second argument is ignore. The ignore argument is used when in your uh, source data in your range you have certain type of cells which contain blank cells which contain blank values or, or error values. So in that case you have the option to ignore certain type of values for example as zero is used to keep all the values one is used to ignore blank cells two is used to ignore errors three is used to ignore blanks and errors both so that is when you use the ignore argument then the third argument for uh, the to call function is scan by column the scan by column argument is used when Instead of scanning by row, you want to force Excel to scan your data by columns. For example, we will see the default behavior of Excel and then we will see how we can use the scan by column argument. So first we will give the reference to our range of data, then close the parenthesis, hit enter. Observe here that our source data has been converted into a single column. But the important thing here is that 1, 6 and 11 that means the first three values these are the same values which are in the first row in the uh, array in the source array and then the second this uh, these values are 2, 7 and 12 these are in the second row that means Excel is scanning by rows so this is the default behavior of Microsoft Excel this is the default behavior of this function now in a state of scanning by row you want for example scan by column in a state you want that you first column that means these values here should be first then these values 6 to 10 and then these values so to do, do that you have to put a comma after the after giving reference to your range of data then you have the second argument ignore we will ignore the ignore argument put a comma here and for the third argument scan by column argument we will put a one here that means we want to scan by column close parenthesis hit enter now notice that your data your range of data has been converted into a single column but instead of scanning by rows excel has scanned the columns that means it has appended the columns in your source data one after the other so this is how you can use the to call function in microsoft excel